The St. Baldrick's Foundation is the largest private funder of children's cancer research in our area. And this weekend, they are hosting one of its signature head shaving events. So joining us now to talk about it is Dr. Eric Lowe. He is in the Division Director of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology at CHKD. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, thank you guys for having us again. Absolutely. I mean, when you meet a child that is going through a battle that they should never go through at such a young age, what do you want to say to our our audience about the importance of doing something fun like shaving your head for a child for example uh, I think uh, there's a lot of things going on um, from mm -hmm. a standpoint of families and us walking in as physicians and nurses and anyone's involved hope always comes up that's the word that really comes up and wherever you are and however you're affected yes. hope is what comes up and from our standpoint research is kind of hope Yes. This is, you know, 50 years ago, survival rates were next to nothing. They were death sentences mm -hmm. for children with cancer. Mm -hmm. um, and we're curing 80% of children 80%. now. 80%? 80% of children are being cured. We cause problems, and we need to do research with that, That's how right. to cure them without causing long-term side effects. From things like chemo, correct? Right. We give them chemotherapy. We give them radiation. We do surgeries. Two-thirds to three-quarters of our patients who survive will have a long-term medical side effect from what we did. Wow. So we're doing great at cures, but there's always better ways. Absolutely. And for us in the medical community, it's that research that means hope. It means hope to that mm -hmm. family. It means hope to that community. So something like St. Baldrick's, you would say, oh, it's such a good attention getter. It's so good for awareness. But through that awareness, people give money that create the research that eventually becomes the treatment that is, for example, let's modify the genes in that child's body so you can get away from chemo and do what instead? What are right. the up and coming yes. research? So the, the, that money, research costs money. No one wants to talk no about it, but research costs money and a lot of money mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, and so St. Baldrick's is a wonderful organization and then they have their largest donors to pediatric cancer research mm -hmm. other than the NIH wow. uh, across the board. But it is that other research. So there are things that you can read about in Newsweek and Science Magazine and on the front page of Time and other things about harnessing your own immune system. How can we change your own immune system yes. so that we can fight that cancer long term and maybe not expose you to chemotherapy, Absolutely. maybe not expose you to as much radiation, uh, and cure right. some of the things that we're not curing. This is all research that's coming up. You yeah. can read about it without being a physician, without being a nurse, without Absolutely. even being in medical, it's easy yep. to Google find. Google Scholar is a great way it, of getting into that as well. It's easy to find, but Dr. it costs Lowe, money. Dr. Lowe, I don't want to cut you off at all. We oh, can keep you here for I the appreciate entire it. show. But let's <laughs> tell people where to show up. Saturday, February 24th, Weston Town Center. That's right there in the middle of Virginia Beach, the St. Baldrick's Org. Show up, donate some money, watch your best friend shave their head. You don't have to, but it's great if you do. And our own Crystal Harper is going to be out there oh, as well. Oh, that's really great. As they survivor of cancer herself. W wonderful so, for yes. people to show up. It's a very positive event. Yep. So I really hope people come out. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.